to be saved. And that one way is to be in Christ. Hallelujah. So the ark was symbolic for Christ. And when you get in the ark, my God, the Bible tells us that the rain started to fall. Hallelujah. You may go through some storms in your life. Hallelujah. And life may throw you a curveball. Life may throw you a fastball. Life may throw you a slider. And you sitting at the plate trying to hit the ball out of the park. Because you're trying to make it home, baby. My God, we're trying to have the victory in Christ. But we can't have the victory until we get home, baby. Hallelujah. We are trying to make it in this world. We're trying to make it. Hallelujah. But we got to be on the ark and know to make it home. Hallelujah. And life may try to, hallelujah, throw these winds at you. Thank you, Jesus. The winds may start to blow. Hallelujah. The lightning may start to flash. The rain may start to fall. I'm talking about going through, y'all. Hallelujah. Anybody know about going through? Thank you, Jesus. You're going through so much things in life. Hallelujah. People acting crazy in life. My God, you're going through so many different trials and tests. My God, you want and you want to ask God, Lord, why me? But don't ask God why me. Say, Lord, keep me. Hallelujah. In the middle of the ark. My God, because when these lives is raging. Hallelujah. I need my soul to be anchored in you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a song that we sing that says my soul has been anchored in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And when you know anything about a boat, a boat, hallelujah, comes with an anchor on it. And when you let that anchor down, that means you're trying to stay in a certain vicinity. You're trying to stay where you are. That anchor is so heavy that it goes to the bottom of the sea and it keeps you steady in one place. Thank you, Jesus. No matter how far the winds may, how hard the winds may blow, that, hallelujah, that, that anchor keeps you right there. Thank you, Jesus. And that's how we got to be in God. No matter what life may bring to us, we must plan to stay in God. We got to stay in God no matter what the enemy may say. We got to stay in God no matter how the, the laws of the land may change. We got to stay in God no matter how the devil may be raging in our life. We got to stay in the ark. The ark is your protection. When these people was on the ark, when Noah and his family was on the ark, when the animals were on the ark, they were protected. That was their refuge. Come on here, somebody. That's what their refuge was. That's what their place of comfort was. Might not have been in a comfortable place, but they knew they were protected. No water got in. No water got in. And God told Noah to build the ark out of gopher wood. Hallelujah. And for well, I was reading about gopher wood. <coughs> said gopher wood don't decay. Gopher wood don't get ate up. <laughs> gopher wood don't rot. Thank you, Jesus. And that's everlasting like Christ. Christ is the ark. If you want to be saved, you get in the ark. And this ark will not rot. No matter how much water is flowing up around it, it will not rot. But it will float. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.